something's broken on your RV hose. But before you just go ahead and throw the whole thing out, I'm gonna show you how to maybe just replace the components that are damaged that might be able to help you save some money. In our case where we store this hose, a mouse got in there, started nesting, chewing it up so it looks like Swiss cheese now. Looks more like an accordion than a sewer hose now. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna remove these easy slip clamps, remove these connectors. We're gonna replace just the hose part of it and keep the connectors so we don't have to pay for these gray things right here and these silver things right here, but just the hose. About half the price you would pay to replace the whole thing. All right, for this project, we're gonna use this 10 foot RV hose replacement here from Camco, a pair of really dirty scissors, an overripe banana, a floss pick, and these hot pink dishwashing gloves. Some of these items we're actually going to use. And in addition, I'll link all of these items that you see here, plus the hose attachments in the description below. And since life shouldn't be all about broken sewer hoses, I'll also put a link in there for a pellet smoker and an ice maker. Now these easy slip fasteners, essentially what they do is they just unscrew and when we go the other way, screw back onto the hose. So the hose is kind of threaded. We're going to just uh, unscrew this and thread it off. Now this is the first time I'm doing this so I might not be so smooth, but I'm hoping that my editors can cut up this footage to make me look like a professional. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Let's see what happens. My wife bought me these gloves. You guys married? Thanks, honey. Now we're gonna grab this 10 foot hose and try to do the reverse, replace it on there. This hose here is a little bit tight for this. So I've watched a couple videos where people were having a problem. There might've been a few swear words thrown around. I'm gonna just trim this up a little bit and see if we can stretch it out a tad and replace it from there. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to stretch this out so that the last couple of coils are flat and hopefully making a bigger circumference. So what we're gonna try to do now is we've stretched this out a little bit, hopefully. We're going to try to fit this attachment into the hose and we're going to use another set of hands as well. So if you've got those, I recommend that you add them to your toolbox now. All right, so we've got this thing on here and hopefully through the editing process, we can make that look a whole lot simpler than it was. We're just gonna take this easy slip clamp here and we're gonna try to start threading it back onto the hose. See what happens. Screw that on there. That look, that's a pretty snug fit. All right, so that's uh, side number one done. Maybe we'll clip this off after to uh, reduce the amount of wire that's hanging off. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side because that first side was so easy. Same thing that uh, we tried on the last one. We're gonna take this edge, this leading edge here, and we're gonna try to work it over the bottom of this first and just sort of corkscrew it up.
All right, thanks for the help. We'll edit out your hands to make me look good in front of my friends. All right, so we've got it most of the way on here. We're just gonna finish it up, kind of corkscrew that on with pressure. Then we're gonna take this, uh, this easy slip connector and we're going to do the same thing as we did last time, which is screw it onto the hose like that. And you can see it kind of inching its way down the threads. Okay. We'll leave a link for these easy, easy slip clamps as well. That's pretty much it. You got a brand new RV sewer hose for about half the price as you would have paid to replace the whole thing if you had chucked it. So you don't have to buy these and these clamps twice. So if you like these tips on how to save dollars replacing just part of your sewer hose instead of the whole thing, and you're willing to handle this thing barehanded for 10 or 15 minutes, follow us for more recipes. This has been Plan Free, the RV series. You'll likely be interested in this video next.